Hi guys, всем привет! Welcome to my channel, Alice Yummy Food and to my wonderful kitchen! Today I have collaborated with Tfal Cake Factory. I am so excited to show you these videos, guys. We're going to be doing a bake-off with other influencers and it's really important that I win. <laughs> so in this challenge, I will be doing some delicious recipes and they have sent me a huge box, which I will show you in a minute when I wrap it. And I've got lots of goodies in there. And the main product, which is mini cake oven, basically. Um, it's like a mini cake factory oven, which is there. I'll show you a close up. It's in my kitchen. And it's so amazing because it's small and it literally does the same function as a big oven. If you're living in a tiny apartment or you don't have a large family and you like to cook just for you, like a small bit of something sweet or cakey or delicious fudgy chocolates or brownies, whatever you like is perfect for that as well. It's so easy to use. It's got five different baking settings already preset with the right times for you and over 200 recipes in the little booklet. I'll show it to you properly as well when I go over it. But they also have the app which I'll be using today which got all the recipes in step-by-step -step directions so you kind of just complete and you tick, complete and tick which just makes it so easy. I'm super excited to show you what I've got in store today cooking for you. And the last thing I wanted to mention that it is environmentally friendly which doesn't use as much energy as the standard uh, sort of oven so it's very transportable you can take it anywhere if you're going away as long as you have electricity and it doesn't use as much which is great okay I've got this apron let's try this on you know this is this is where the things are getting serious this is where we start I love this color I did mention it earlier because it's not like green but it's like you know so it reminds me of uh, Tiffany Tiffany color that's right <laughs> this could be like a posh uh, apron so there we go. So guys, remember, I have to win. Okay, this is the challenge. Today we're gonna to be making a delicious chocolate zucchini cake. And it's so good for you. It's super healthy, it's moist, and it's got those vegetables hidden away. So if you're, if you know, if you've got fussy kids or if you don't eat as many vegetables as you want to, this cake will be the bomb because it's moist, it's chocolatey, and it's absolutely delicious. Now, let's get started. First thing you want to do is spray your cake mold with some cooking oil and then add a little bit of flour to coat it around the edges and inside. This will prevent the cake from sticking. Once you're done, you can set this aside. Now we're going to make our cake. So in a bowl, add your softened butter. I'm using unsalted. Then add half of your sugar and whisk everything together with an electrical whisk. You can use a manual whisk as well, but this might take a bit longer. So keep whisking until the mixture turns a bit pale, just like this. Now we're gonna add our egg yolks and mix everything together one more time until it is all combined. Then add your grated zucchini and mix everything one more time. This recipe is so easy and simple. You just put everything in one bowl pretty much and mix everything. Then you want to switch to your spatula and mix all the ingredients together. Make sure they're all combined and super gentle. In a different bowl, add your egg whites and then add a pinch of salt and we're gonna whisk this again with an electrical whisker for about three to five minutes until you start to see nice and foamy mixture. The egg whites should be at room temperature as well, so make sure um, you leave them outside for just a little bit, at least half an hour before you start making this recipe. And once your egg whites are whisked, they should have a nice peak and only then we're gonna start adding the sugar. So add another half of your sugar inside and keep whisking. And you want to add a little bit of sugar at a time until you basically finish the entire sugar uh, in order to make sure that everything is whisked correctly. So keep whisking, you'll see the color of your meringue will change. So essentially we're making a meringue and it will be nice sort of golden color and very, very stiff peaks. At this stage, you want to add one tablespoon of your mixture inside your zucchini mix and kind of loosen the mixture. And then we're gonna fold in the rest of our meringue and gently kind of scoop it around and fold that all in. 
You want to be quite quick in this process, but also very gentle. You don't want to knock out too much air from the egg white, otherwise your cake will not be as sort of light and fluffy. And egg whites kind of create that beautiful texture. Then add your plain flour together with cocoa powder and mix everything together. I have also some baking powder in there and a pinch of salt. So just mix everything together gently with your spatula. You kind of want to go around the edges and then through the middle, around the edges and then through the middle until all the ingredients are combined. Then we want to add our chocolate chips and I absolutely love it. It adds that extra chocolatey flavor to the cake. Uh, mix everything together so they evenly distributed and your zucchini cake is done. The mixture is done. That's how easy it is. So now we're going to take our cake factory and I've placed my baking tray inside. So scoop out your chocolate mixture inside the mini tray and just even it out with your spatula. You want to make sure you have the same amount or sort of even amount around the edges as well. And this is where it gets super easy. Once it's all scooped in, you just want to close the lid. You want to press the on button and we're going to use the first setting which is the cakes and then you're going to press the on button right there and it's giving you a standard time of 23 minutes but we're actually going to bake it for 25 so just increase the time and press start and that's it we wait uh, in the meantime, I just want to quickly show you how the recipe is outlined in here. So you've got all your ingredients, uh, it tells you which tray you need to use, your shopping list. And once you kind of do each step, you can cross over and it's done. And it's buzzing. So let's have a look. And there it is. Wow, look at that. The house actually smells really amazing and chocolatey. So you can press the button to stop um, and it will stop the oven. And look at that whoa so delicious so i leave it to cool down for a little bit i was very impatient so um you can leave it to cool down for much longer if you can <laughs> loosen the edges around with your knife and then turn it over onto a board and i did turn it over one more time and it kind of broke because it's too hot <laughs> but it's okay it's still delicious we're gonna cut it into pieces nobody will know so now add a bit of icing sugar and your chocolate zucchini cake is done. I'm going to show you how it looks inside. Uh, I sliced it up into quite big pieces, but you can make smaller pieces. It's completely up to you. Uh, I was just so excited to try this. Look how chocolatey this looks. And you see the melted chocolate chunks in there as well. It's very, very moist and fluffy and kind of fudgy at the same time. I think zucchini adds that kind of moisture to the cake and also the chewiness um, is really, really delicious. You honestly cannot taste the, the actual vegetable in there. Um, they were so hot to touch, <laughs> but they almost like fall through. So if you put your finger through it, it's like a soft pillow that kind of goes down and chocolate soft pillow of goodness. Right guys, now I'm gonna test them out. Ta-da, there we are. Look at these. I love this stand. It matches my apron. How cool is this? We need like a photo shoot for this. Look at these delicious chocolatey zucchini cake. Wow. Okay, it's very, very chocolatey. I'm just gonna show you. This is how it looks. Come on, focus camera. Look at that. Okay, let's give this a try. So it's much, much softer. Very, very sort of like, very cakey. Mmm, the chocolate really comes through. It's almost got this like kind of chewy chocolate cake consistency, sort of crunchy on top, very kind of chewy and gooey in the middle, and I definitely can't taste zucchini at all. I actually really like it. It almost adds that texture to it, like a little crunch. So good. And again, it has cooled down, so then they're much easier to cut. <laughs> so... If you're impatient like me and you want to just eat all the cake when it comes out of the Tifa cake factory, then you have to brace yourself. So again, this makes quite a lot of cake. So if you've got like any parties or you want some sort of afternoon tea, you can cut these into like mini squares and then enjoy them like that. Mmm, definitely so good. Mmm, I want some.
I'm just amazed how easy it is to use the function there. Literally just mix everything, put it in, and it's done. Don't need to worry about overburning them, undercooking them, or whatever. The setting does everything for you, so everyone could be a chef. <laughs> Okay guys, and now we're gonna challenge some other influencers to see who is better at baking. I'm gonna challenge gluten-free cup of tea to bake gluten-free chocolate crumble mini cakes. I just realized my handwriting might not be great. <laughs> Let's try this. <laughs> 